It's that. No. Don't you stop barking. That's, that's naughty. <gasps> Don't bark at me. No. No. He must have said the last word. No. <gasps> You're not growling at me. <gasps> no. Get out. Out. <laughs> hey bitches, how are we? Hope we're all doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I've been, I'm having a good day so far, so you should too. Have you ever thought about just being happy? Like close your eyes, imagine yourself happy and you're just like happy. Depression too. If you're new here then hello my name is Marie. I make mental health videos every now and then because I do tend to like disappear from the internet for a bit. But you know what? I'm trying to keep consistent. I'm trying to keep consistent. So anyway, today we're going to be doing a Q&A. Just I asked for some questions on my Instagram and yeah, let's see what you guys said. Because I haven't like spoken to you guys just about life and that recently. Um, so I thought it would be a really good catch up little team. Before we start, I just want to say a massive thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I've worked with Anna Luisa in the past and I'm so, so grateful to be able to work with such an amazing company. I'm going to show you the three pieces that Anna Luisa sent me. I love them. I adore them. As you guys know, I'm so into all things jewellery. I just think jewellery is so special. I don't know why, I just love it. And guys, I'm not even scared anymore about mixing gold and silver. I oh, know. First of all, this is right on my street. Ignore the white. Ignore it. I was trying to do something cool with my makeup and it didn't work. This little ring. Well, a big ring, actually. I love it. First of all, it's so different. Like, just having, like, a black ring is such a statement. I'm like, yeah. Effie who? But also, the best part is that it is adjustable so you can buy it for anyone christmas is coming guys christmas is coming and i got some exciting news i got some exciting news all you have to do is click the link in my description next up i have these jazzy earrings look how gorgeous they are they're like so 70 vibes hippy dippy i love it um they've overtaken the moon and stars guys it's official i know who am i have i come back as someone different I don't know. The quality of Anna Luisa jewellery is beautiful. Like, what? next... I know it will be. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so lucky to be able to work with a brand like Anna Luisa. Just because, like, not only do I love the products, but I love the company. The final thing that they sent me are these. They are in my thirds. Now, what do we think, guys? I'll show you a close-up. What do we think? Shall I have these in the middle or on the thirds because i thought if i have them on the third like normally you'd have them in like a uh, size like you know size size maybe this year is easier to see um look at the difference between my ear and my fucking face yeah so i thought if i have it here they're more like again both so beautiful i'm so excited anna louisa for christmas are having their biggest bloody sale biggest sale b-o-g-o -O. bogo Buy one, get one, 60% off. My drop. 60% off. Anna Louise's jewellery is mm, so lovely. So please go check it out. I think it would make an absolutely beautiful Christmas present for someone. Um, they come in like, oh, I've got one here. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. That was easy. That's because my room is so messy and everything's on the floor. But they come in like little bags which are again so well made so what so cute i use these for like when i go in the shower or uh when i'm like traveling and i just put all of my jewelry into it because it's so nice um so i think they make the perfect present so i just want to say a massive thank you to anna louisa for sponsoring this video and yeah use my code and click the link in my description you won't regret it <laughs> You won't regret it. Okie dokie. So many people are asking about like job wise what I was looking for. Um, and honestly, honestly, I just need a bit of income to be able to drive. That is my main priority. So I really do not mind what I work as. I think like normally or years ago, I would be so nervous about starting a new job or I don't know something like that 
Um, but honestly, I'm actually really excited. I just, I just want to get a part-time job. I want to get a bit more income so that I can pay to learn to drive because I need to fucking drive. It's actually ruining my life that I can't drive. Um, so yeah, and ideally I would love to go and uh, be able to drive before my birthday. I don't know if that's a that's too near my birthday is in March but um start of March so I don't know obviously I would love to work in maybe like a support jobs like support worker something like that um but at the same time I wouldn't mind just doing a really mundane job okay so I don't want to stay at home you know if you're just doing like phone calls or something and you're at home I would, I think I would prefer to go somewhere. So like, even if it was retail, I, I think my my head works better when I'm not in my room constantly. Um, yeah, I just feel more motivated and I really enjoy like that, all of everything that comes with that. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna look around um, and enjoy December and then crack on in January. So someone asked, what's some of the things that motivate you when you're down? And I am such a, I'm so all or nothing guys. It's really annoying. Like today I'm all motivation on point yesterday. However, probably TMI, but um, yesterday I was, I felt so ill. I felt exhausted. I slept most of the day and um, I felt really sick. So I went to bed really early and that's why I woke up so early today. And I started my period. And I, I was on my period last week. I mean, it makes sense as to why I was feeling so shit, but at the same time, I'm like, babe, leave me alone. Aunt Flo, fuck off. You know what I mean? So yeah, my motivations definitely uh, go hand in hand with vulnerability factors that I have. So if you have vulnerability factors, it's uh, if you don't sleep, don't eat properly, or you know, don't exercise, or it's all these kind of like if you drink too much, if you're on drugs, if you're on whatever. So I find it really difficult because it's not so much just the mental thing, it's a physical thing too. Because when you're, you know, either really tired and that, it's, it can be so hard. And the main thing I've noticed about myself is that if I change my environment, I'm better, like completely. If I stay in my room all day, I actually will go batshit crazy because my motivation will just go <laughs> no. no. So really I'm like, oh God, like I don't really know how to motivate myself. But the things that do motivate me are podcasts. So I listen to a lot of podcasts and I love that because they, I don't have to watch. I'm very much a listener in terms of like, well, I talk a lot, but I am a listener too. Um, I also make sure that the, basically the environment around me is so important. Like at the moment, it's a fucking shit show. <laughs> so you've got to kind of juggle them and also allow yourself to have days where you don't do it or like I had, I had yesterday where I was like, I am not doing anything today, but then I, I promised myself that today I would do something, you know? I think it's just allowing yourself to be and to realize that you do have time for a lot of things. Motivation and confidence is a massive thing too. So um, I know people don't like uh, mindfulness or like affirmations and that, but I find them great. And also just get outside even if it's for like 10 minutes, go outside and breathe a bit and your headspace is cleared. Like I, was, I will have a, a day like yesterday where I was like, um, at, my dad's like, do you want to walk Albie? Like, cause we walk Albie. Um, and like, do you want to come? And I was like, no. And then, but I knew in my head that I would probably feel better. However, I was allowing myself to wallow that day. So motivation is really difficult especially with mental health issues so i just want you to know that like you need to start being kinder to yourself because you're not going to get anywhere if you put so much pressure on you you can see from me if if i put pressure on something then it never works never works out ever okay someone said are you an anti-vaxxer am i fuck shoot me in the head before i become an anti-vaxxer honestly guys i'm not gonna go into it but get your vaccine don't be selfish, get your vaccine. But leave on from that, I was in the pub, like, 
uh, two weeks ago. And there was this guy and, and his wife in the smoking area. And I was just like, he was wearing this coat. And I was like, oh my God, Dylan would look so nice in that coat. So I went, oh, sorry to intrude, but where did you get your coat from? And he was like, ah, blah, blah, blah. And then he went, oh, your perfume. And I was like, what? I was like, yeah. A bit drunk, so I was like, yeah. Fit, smell fit, mate. Um, and he was like, you definitely had the vaccine. And I was like, I was like, yeah, obviously. And then he was like, he started, he started. And I'm like, oh my god, leave me alone. I just want to know where your coat was from. Not COVID. Coat. Oh. But I just left. I was like, I am not having this conversation with you. Fuck off, you know? But they told me that they had kids, and I was like, uh. Anyway, right, let's, fuck it, let's move on. I do not want to get into a big, 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 big trouble. How many piercings do you have? Um, I have, okay. 13, 14, 15, got my belly button done and my nipple done. Like 17? 17, 18? Do you have any plans to move in with Dylan? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> not really. Um, not anytime soon, so. <laughs> I mean, yes, eventually, but not at the moment. How did Dylan's parents find feel about your scars? I think Dylan's parents love me. I actually do. I think they love me. How cute is that? But I love them. They're so, oh, they're just fab, all of them. Uh, shout out to the Kangs. Ooh. Are they reacting to my scars? Honestly, Dylan's mom has the most uh, uh, emotional intelligence that I've ever seen in someone. Um, she understands, she gives. Oh, shout out to Sunita. She's an absolute babe. Um, but yeah, we get on really well and they are so understanding. And also like, I haven't had a big thing for a while. <laughs> you know, like last October, <laughs> but yeah, for, I've been quite good for a while. So I feel like it's beneficial. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel I, like, I feel just so comfortable and loved by them and I love them. So it's, I'm very, very lucky. And I got a fit boyfriend with them. Do you believe in God? Sorry, that was really weird. Um, no, I believe in something, something, but not God. Like not Bible God. Bible God can actually do one for me. Um, I saw this picture the other day and I was like, literally. What? Okay, we'll finish on this one because this one's really cute. So I will, I will just go into it, guys. I'm, I feel real, real, real good at the moment. Um. Yeah, I have like bad days uh, like yesterday, but they're few and far between and I am just, I, I, I know that I'm looking after myself a bit more. It's things like I have since maybe like the, the last two months gained quite a bit of weight, but I'm literally like done with it now. I'm literally, to that, that voice in my head, I'm like, fuck off. I've, I've gained a bit of weight, so what? So what? Like, honestly, don't give a fuck. Um, well, I do, kind of. <laughs> I do, kind of, but it doesn't interfere with my life. Do you know what I mean? So, like, obviously I have thoughts and I'm like, oh, I wish I was this, wish I was that, wish I was that. But there's no interfering with my life. It doesn't make my life difficult because I'm able to get rid of it. It's something that I really want to talk about more because... A lot of you guys asked as well, like, why did I never talk about my eating disorder? And it was because I was embarrassed. I didn't think I had one um, in terms of like, I thought I, I didn't think that I looked like I had one. So I didn't want to claim that I had one. And also I didn't get any uh, support during to do with eating. Um, the, the most I got was like a four to sit once a day in hospital but yeah they really i never had a meal plan never been seen a dietitian so i kind of had to do it on my own and that was difficult but at the same time worth it because i'm doing really well now therapy i'm doing i think really well in therapy um i've seen such a difference in i just feel lifted i feel like a weight is lifted from me um and yeah, I just, 
that's really that's that's one of the most like my whole mental health recovery I've had to try and get this therapy and I was on the waiting list for two years I'm so glad that it took two years because I'm finally in the right headspace to do it so yeah I think that's everything really I am just very happy I'm actually really happy today right I am gonna go stay safe you little bitch love you bye